What's going on guys, Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm doing a video on gloss black vinyl wrap. I get asked the question a lot, what's the best gloss black vinyl wrap to use in the market? Um, I have three here and we're gonna go through them. Two of them are new, one of them is one that I use all the time, I've been using it for years. And we're gonna talk about the pros and cons. Now, obviously the best gloss black vinyl wrap is subject to your opinion and what you think about you know, the ease of install, how thick, how thin, uh, what's the adhesive like, is it strong, is it light, is it medium, uh, how black is the black, you know, is it, does it scratch free, how clear is it, how clean is it, is it orange peel, is there less orange peel, there's so many variables here guys, okay? So we're gonna demo two new products versus one old timer right here. I have uh, films here, the films here that I have are Avery on the right, this is Tech Wrap, and this is Vivid, okay? These two, substantially different right off the bat. I'll tell you that, I'll tell you why when we get to it. This one, I've been using for years. Uh, good gloss black, very reliable. But again, I've also wrapped roofs in Vivid gloss black years ago. And one car was just here, the Infinity Q50. And that's been wrapped for like three or four years. It's still very black, it's just scratched up. Uh, that's gonna happen with black or just a gloss wrap in general. Now, the idea here is that Brands are trying to step their game up when it comes to the quality of the finish. Um, as far as being an installer goes, you should be able to install the easiest film and the most difficult film when you're good. Uh, not challenging yourself and using the easiest film all the time just because it's easy isn't gonna get you anywhere. So challenge yourself with harder films. Uh, these films, Vivid and TechRap, I've never touched them. I have no idea what these two new, new gloss blacks are like. Uh, Avery, I know, is very easy and very user-friendly, but we don't probably get the same result in the end as far as the finish goes. We're gonna find out. Uh, brands like Enostech, Hexis uh, with their Chrome, Enostech with their gloss line, uh, and I just did the wrap on the BMW M4 in Enostech. Again, all those installation videos, the whole car, is gonna be on my website, ckwraps.com. I'm putting a link in the top corner and in the description below for you. I have detailed videos with the camera glasses. Check it out, guys. I'm giving away one month for free so for new subscribers. Anyways, links are there. Now, that film in Ostec is super glossy. It makes the paint, it makes the car look like it's painted. It actually looks better than the paint job. The customer even said it when he came in here. He's like, their car looks better than the paint did. Uh, incredible, right? That's the idea here. What we wanna do is we want to, we want to have gloss look like a paint job. Matte and satin and stuff like that, yeah, it's, you can make the corners and the edges all look good, but most people are gonna know that it's a wrap. Now that wraps are becoming more common and more popular these days. People are starting to understand, oh, matte blue, that's probably a wrap, it's not a paint job. Uh, but gloss, on the other hand, can be hidden to be as a paint job. Let's check these films out and we're just gonna flip them over. Right here says Avery, right across the back. I just literally cut it right off the roll. Uh, I have a roll of tech wrap, and there's something very unique about this. If you look at the if you look at the release liner, now the release liner is plastic. This is how you do it. Okay, this is this is the the main ingredient in getting the glossiest wrap possible. Texas does it with their chromes, and Nose Tech does it with their gloss line. What I like about these guys, they thought ahead, actually. Uh, if you look closely, there's markings on the backing. And those tech and Hexus don't have any markings. So when you're cutting, and it's not that big of a deal, but I do like to be able to cut straight. Uh, this will show you exactly how to cut straight, even though I didn't. Um, some of you might have noticed my, my cut's a little crooked, but it'll give me a better measurement, more accuracy when I am cutting the film uh, at the end and I want to cut off a, a hood or a door or whatever the heck I'm doing for the wrap. Now that's pretty cool. Um, initially right off the bat, I'm going to tell you what the adhesive feels like. So the, the release liner is thick. Okay, there's the actual markings on it. You can see that. There you go. Um, fairly sticky, which is good enough. You know, I feel like it's not too sticky. And this has a cap on it. This has a cap right here. So once we get rid of the cap, and once we get rid of the release liner, how's the film feel? Feels good. Feels thicker than Avery, but it feels good. It's not too sticky, not that I'm noticing right now. And the air release pattern is, let's tell you right now, we're looking at squares or diamond shaped, whatever you want to call it, turn a square sideways, it could be a diamond. Um, but yes, square or diamond shaped adhesive, pattern, clear adhesive, great for doing seams, and 
has a protective cap and clear plastic release liner with markings on it. Now, this release liner right here, not stretchable. On Enos Tech and Hexus, it's not stretchable. You cannot stretch it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any 3M2080 here because 3M2080 has a stretchable protective cap. You can install the entire wrap on the whole car with the cap on. Benefit, okay? The finish on 3M is somewhere on the same area as Avery, probably a little bit worse, but scratchless, okay? That's a huge plus. So if you don't care about that crazy orange peel that 3M has, and you're just looking to get rid of all the scratches and install it, you can do that with 3M because it has a stretchable uh, cap. Now, from what I feel so far with this one, I haven't even, che I haven't even che checked it out yet, I haven't even unrolled it. Uh, this is actually a test batch uh, that I have here. So this doesn't have any markings on the release liner. Uh, this is a test batch. They were actually testing this product before they sent it over to me. It's not available yet. I'm, sh I'm sure it will be shortly. But I'm just gonna cut a piece off here because it's a bit um, flimsy. Let's cut a piece off. Let's put that roll over here. Cool. Now, what I notice, it's just plastic release liner. Same deal, okay? Let's take this, okay? That's our plastic release liner. Our air release pattern, whoa, it's way, it's way, way, way smaller than tech wraps. If you guys can see that at all, hopefully you can. I'll show you tech wraps. That's, it's beneficial to have a smaller release, air release pattern because it won't show through the film as much. If you have a big air release pattern, okay, there's, there's tech wraps there. If you guys can see it at all, give it a moment. Now, this is pretty much the same shape, just Vivid's is more fine. Uh, which means everything's tighter together. The air release might work better on this. It might work better on that. I honestly don't know. Now these two films, Vivid and TechRap, are not pressure sensitive. They are gonna tack almost, almost immediately as soon as you put it down on the car. Unless somebody changed something and didn't tell me anything, but they didn't tell me that these are now pressure sensitive films, so I doubt they are. Avery, pressure sensitive film. Let's bring Vivid back over again and check it out. So the protective cap is right here, and it feels like it's stretchy. So the, to me, right now, they're kind of winning on the installation side of things. Uh, this means they're going to have the glossiest, one of the glossiest, I'm sure it'll be comparable to tech wraps, but with a stretchable cap, which means you can install it with the stretchable cap on, then remove the cap afterwards, and have a scratchless and piano black gloss wrap. It's gonna look amazing. Let's cut off a small piece and see uh, what they feel like as far as stretching them goes. Try and keep the, the size of the pieces the same. Now I'm gonna stretch this with the cap on. I haven't removed it yet. I'll show you what happens when I remove it. Let's stretch it, let's see what happens. Just room temperature right now. It's a little bit, it's warmer today. Okay, it's stretching. It feel, feel, feels good. It's a little bit more resistance than Avery, I can tell you right off the bat, um, but stretches nicely. Now, the, obviously the bigger the piece, the more resistance. Let's get the protective cap off, just so I can show you that this did stretch with the protective cap on it. There it is. This cap doesn't add a lot of thickness to the film. I can actually take my two fingers, pull it apart. It's super thin um, and does a great job. It stretches very well with the film. With, so, it's why is it important that the cap stretches with the film? So this way we don't get any weird discrepancies when you stretch it. If, you, if the cap doesn't stretch with the film, like this one, then, and like an Oztech and like Hexus Chrome, then you're gonna run into problems. Um, this, the film is gonna wanna stretch, the cap isn't gonna wanna stretch, so it's better, in my opinion, to have the cap actually stretch more or be more pliable than the film itself. Let's take this. Just plop that over there. Let's try out the tech wrap. Again, a similar size as far as piece goes. Let's remove the cap. Okay, well actually I won't remove the cap. I'll leave the cap on. And we'll try and stretch it. Again, there's the release liner. Love the markings on it. Very beneficial. Okay, this cap actually just slid right off. That's, that's great. I, the easier it comes off, the better. I have extreme difficulty removing the protective cap on Hexus Chrome. 
Oh, no, tech wasn't bad. This just slid right off. Now let's try and stretch it. Okay, it's not gonna stretch. I'll show you why. Let's take the cap and you can hear that. You can hear that this is not going anywhere. Hey, that's just plastic. That's hard plastic. Leave that stuff, get rid of it. Before you install, you have to get rid of it. If you don't get rid of that and you're trying to install, you're gonna mess yourself up because you're not gonna be able to set yourself up for success. The film, if surprisingly, see, ah, maybe a little bit thinner. I don't know the measurements exactly. Uh, I don't know how many mil they are. And by mil, when I say mil guys, microns, not millimeters, um, probably somewhere around the four mil mark. But let's see what it stretches like now. Okay, stretches really nicely. Stretches well. Uh, adhesive, not terribly sticky. Same thing with Vivids, not terribly sticky. Let's take Avery's, let's flip that back over. It's always good to do a little comparison test once in a while. Avery's, okay, no protective cap. And we're, I'm gonna show you the finishes on all these products also once I install it on the hood. I'm just gonna just lay it all down. Very thin, release liner comes off nicely. Diamond shaped, or sorry, not diamond shaped, um, honeycomb shaped adhesive pattern. I don't know if you can see it at all. Just kind of try and show you there. If you can see that reflection in the light there a little bit. Okay. Thinner. Okay. It feels thinner to me. I can probably take this with two fingers and stretch it out. Yep. Just like that. I'm trying, but it's a little more pliable. Pressure sensitive adhesive, which means that it doesn't usually just stick to the surface of a panel when you undo the release liner. A huge con to that is that. So Avery's um, slidable film, and as easy as it is to install, because it slides around, um, and you're able to squeegee out the air very easily because the film doesn't tack in the surrounding areas, leaves little microbeads built up if you slide this even an inch, a lot of the times. The warmer the climate, the harder this is to use, okay? This is not, it becomes not easy at a certain temperature. Uh, first of all, if it gets too warm, it turns into bubble gum. Second of all, if you slide this film at all, an inch or two inches, on body lines like this, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of a slidable film or a pressure sensitive film, um, they, you know, selling it as a, as a slidable, repositionable film, you get little micro beads built up on these hard body lines. They can even happen in a flat spot in the middle of the panel if you just simply pick the panel up, pick, pick the uh, vinyl up without it even have tacked to the hood. So. Just by simply picking it up, you can leave a splotch. And I've seen it so many times. What I'll do is um, I'll try to simulate that at some point and show you why that, why that happens or, or what that looks like when it happens. But simply what it looks like, it almost looks like dirt under your wrap. It looks terrible. Um, not so noticeable outside, but when you're in the shop and you've got you know, really good lighting, you tend to see a lot of these things drive you nuts. Um, so using Avery can be very difficult depending on the quality of the installation that you want, the, the appearance, basically. Let's now, let's now take this. Um, we would, we're gonna be fair to tech wrap and remove the protective cap and install it at the same, you know, install it with the protective cap off. We're gonna be fair to Vivid because theirs is a stretchable protective cap and Avery doesn't have one at all. Let's, let's remove the release liners and squeegee these guys down. I'll bring you in shortly. Okay, again, Avery, slides, look, check that out. It's pretty cool. Tax, it tacks a slight bit, but it's, it's nothing. Beneficial, or be, the benefit for, uh, to its sliding is that you can squeegee it without usually getting uh, bunched up with wrinkles and stuff like that. The air release works phenomenal on Avery as well. It's too hot right now, so it's, it is sticking, it is gonna wrinkle up, I have to keep the film tight. The hood on the car is also warm. So I'm gonna pull this film tight, tack it down to here, and we're gonna try and I'll try and squeeze it as nice as possible. Okay. Now, keep in mind it's going to leave uh, fine lines, like swirl marks. It's gloss black. It's gonna leave fine lines in the film. Nothing I can do about that. We can heat them out usually as long as there's no dirt on the surface when we squeegee, because dirt will or debris like dust will cause deeper scratches. The very, the very fine lines usually heat out. Most of them do. Let's take the, uh, let's take the tech wrap. 
check this out. Right off the bat, I can tell you, like this looks way nicer. Um, re release liner to release liner, you know, with the cap off, looks way nicer than Avery already over here. I'm all for the I'm all for the brands that have nicer looking films. I don't care how hard it is to use. I believe that TechRap's pretty trustworthy as far as reliability goes. I haven't heard too many issues with it. Again, this not, does, not, does not slide, it sticks instantly, see? So what we're gonna have to do is, especially with the hood being hot, is, is hold this up a bit. My fault, got a little carried away. And I'm gonna put these as close together as possible so we can see the light reflection. Because that's what I, that's what we're going for here. We want to see the the glossiness to the film. I'm trying to lift it too much, but it's not working. This is too small of a piece to really handle. Um, you would handle a bigger piece. So we're, all we're really looking at here is the center area. When I bring you over for the camera. Sticky. It's definitely not, not going to stick. See the difference already in the time of installation just for a small piece. I mean, it is sometimes harder to install smaller pieces like this. Just simply because I can't get the pull and the stretch on it because I don't have enough. The black uh, quality, I can see right off the bat. This looks brown. Avery looks brown compared to this. I'm gonna cut off some of this, I have a bit too much on the length. Give me one second. Now guys, uh, I've put a toolkit together with SignMaker Tools. So I'm gonna put a link to the whole toolkit in the description below as well. It's actually on sale. I think it's like 60 bucks off. Uh, so check it out, US and, and Canadian residents. Let's remove the release liner for Vivid. It's gonna be sticky too. Again, does not, it's not slide, okay? It's not slide at all. You can see it's sticking right away. But we're gonna install Vivid with the protective cap on it, because we can. I could wrap a bumper with this protective cap on it. Now keep in mind the hood is hot, so air release is not working optimally here. Same thing, same thing goes for the tech wrap. I'm just gonna hold it up. And all I really care about is the center area to give you a nice area to show you how these films look with the light reflecting. Remember, remember how I did the video comparison of uh, a nose tech when I was showing the gloss finish, you know, and the light gonna come passing over top. I'm gonna do the same thing here right now. All right, yeah, it's uh, noticeably different. Okay, protective cap is still on Vivid. Let's bring the camera over so you can actually see these up close and in person. This is Vivid on the left. This is obviously very, very scratched up. That's what happens when you're buffer sometimes. You can see tech wrap over here, okay? You can see all the fine swirl marks. See all those? That's from the squeegee. That's from buffer. That's from the buffer on the squeegee, which the buffer is, in case some of you don't know, is this gray guy right here. And this is Avery right here. Let's now be fair to Vivid and remove the protective cap. Okay? Now, remember, this was a test film. So this has already been put through some testing. Uh, they just gave me the roll, a couple of rolls, a couple of small ones to test out. That's, there's some specks in the, in the paint. Don't worry, I didn't clean the car off that good. Uh, these are not bubbles, they're just specks. But yes, this is the gloss finish. Look at the reflection, it's pretty nice. It is pretty nice, zero scratches, none, absolutely zero. Here's tech wrap, actually. Okay, so let's go here and then here. Look at that. Here and then here. Incredible. It's a massive difference. This, so Vivid's black right here looks the most black, actually. This over here looks, starts to look brown. And look at the reflection. Look at the light, it's all blurry. This is Avery. It's very, very orange peel -y. see that? There you go, it's 
try and have the camera focus there for you. You can see all that orange peel. Again, let's go over to TechRap. Improvement, massive improvement, okay? You can start to see the lights, that beam of light up there. You can actually see the division between the lights right here. Over here, it's just one big blur. See, this is, this is where you get into nicer looking films. And then here's Vivid. Okay, we can, again, we can make out. It's the, the, the clarity of Vivid might be slightly more uh, clear. Slightly, you can see this is a bit hazy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my heat gun just to be fair, so let's grab it and clear up some of those scratches. Because I believe right now we're seeing the swirl marks. Let's grab, let's do this, but I could be wrong. A lot of them should, should uh, go away. Let's try to be fair here. I can tell you right off the bat the, uh, that Vivid is more black. It's much darker black. So you see those scratches there? Where's my heat gun? Trying to, it should heat out. Where is it, here? Here. Or not really. I'm not sure why. Somewhat. And then here's Avery, okay? So you can see the scratches again. Let's heat them out. Let's be fair. Now obviously this is a big pain in the butt to do. You don't want to do this to every roof wrap that you ever do or every chrome trim delete you ever do. Did improve the finish. I feel like it did at least. It's a little bit less murky is what is the word I'm looking for here. Boom, that's just, that's just crystal clear. See, see the radius of the light coming around it? And over here, we don't get that. We don't get that glare. You can see the reflection of everything in the roof. Here you can as well, it's very nice. It's actually pretty clear stuff, um, don't get me wrong. Just that this black is not as black as that one there. This is more piano black. This is still very nice, much nicer than this right here. Again, 3M is gonna put you sort of in the same boat as Avery's gloss black. It's not gonna be much different. The only difference with 3M's is that you're gonna get no swirl marks in it because it has an install installable protective cap on it. We're also gonna pay the price uh, using 3M. This is not inexpensive. It's the most expensive gloss black probably actually. All right, see again, that, just to give you that comparison all the way across, look at that, look at that cross. <laughs> and then we can try to do it here. It actually looks to be a little bit more, I can make out maybe more detail over here, but there seems to be some kind of a glare around the light. While over here, we're just sitting in a more true black. Anyways, they all look good. These two look good. I really like it. All right guys, and that was my comparison video for three different brands, two of them being newer uh, versions of Gloss Black. They're not new to the market. TechRap and, and Vivid have been around for quite a while. Um, Avery has never changed anything with their Gloss Black or really just their Gloss Films in general. Uh, 3M has tried with the protective cap on it, which again does help with the installation. This to me right here is the best of both worlds. This has plastic release liner, stretchable plastic cap, the blackest black out of them all. So again, Vivid, TechRap, Avery, why use anything else? If you can install this and it, and it lasts, why would you use anything else? It doesn't make any sense. So I'm looking forward to this hitting the market to do some roof wraps, chrome trim deletes, that sort of thing. But again, this was a comparison video guy to show you guys what's up with these new products. Uh, TechRap can be, you can get it from anywhere. Again, I feel like the clarity is slightly better with the TechRap, just the color isn't as black, as vivids. That's about it, that's the only difference there. So again, there's pros and cons. A little bit more clear, but not as black. A little bit less clear, but more black. Uh, and again, no scratches. Guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. Again, if you're looking for those detailed installation videos, check out my website, you know, with the glasses on, 
Website ckrapps.com. Put a link in the top corner and in the description below for you. Again, thank you for watching very much. I appreciate it. Take care.